Hello and welcome to the American Health Journal. I'm your host, Roger Cooper. Today we have a series of reports that may help you improve your health. First up, a segment on hip replacement surgery, helping patients to regain their mobility. Hip replacement surgery is the second most common joint replacement procedure, and 90% of the patients have good results. We went to Valley Presbyterian Hospital in Van Nuys, California, and spoke with Dr. Eric Ziegen, one of Southern California's leading joint surgeons, to learn about hip replacement surgery. The essence of a hip replacement uh, is we're basically uh, reconstructing the hip joint with a new ball and socket. The hip joint is a ball and socket joint, and when it wears out, there's no smooth surface, no uh, free range of motion that occurs between the ball and socket. So what we're doing is removing the diseased part of the joint and putting in an artificial joint with a, um, a, a stem that goes into the femur and a new socket uh, that goes into the patient's own socket. And there's various different types of ball bearings, should we say, that we can use to uh, uh, provide the patient with a, a smooth, painless hip that has better range of motion. Dr. Ziegen tells us who's a good candidate for this procedure. Anybody who has severe osteoarthritis of the hip or the knee and has failed non-surgical means of treatment is a good candidate to have their hip or knee replaced. A patient tells us why he went to see Dr. Ziegen and how he feels now after the surgery. Specifically, I was referred to Dr. Ziegen because I was having problems with hip uh, pain and I had gone to my regular doctor and uh, after looking at the x-rays he had suggested I go get an MRI and then after the MRI he had suggested I go see Dr. Ziegen because he felt that he was the best person for my case by far. It was pain in my right hip uh, and when I would walk I would walk a little bit like um, a grandfather who had been shot in the war. <laughs> I was really walking with a, a horrible imp. I had a hip replacement surgery and uh, really pleased with it. No more grandpa walking. And literally by uh, the seventh to ninth day, I was walking up and down stairs without the use of anything. Uh, by 21 days, I was out fishing on my boat and uh, my uh, recovery was just amazing. Uh, it was fast, it was easy. Um, the nice thing is that everybody at the office uh, was very informative about what I could expect because there are some things that you do need to know when you go into this uh, that if you didn't know later on, you'd think you were having a problem when it's really not a problem, it's just part of the healing process. So they really did a great job of informing me right up front what I could expect, and then what I experienced afterwards was right in line with what they had told me. So I was very pleased. Dr. Zegan explains why the recovery time for hip replacement surgery is so much quicker now. I think it has to, a lot to do with different things. Uh, surgical technique, uh, advanced uh, anesthetic protocols, more rapid rehab, um, and just kind of the general expectations of patients in and of themselves. People want to recover quicker, so the mindset on the patient's part is I don't need six weeks to get back to doing what I'm doing. I can do it in two weeks or four weeks. And I think just the whole combination of all those things put together has really uh, made for what I, I term rapid recovery. People are getting back on with their lives very quickly. In this day and age, people don't want to accept limitations in their lifestyle. Uh, people are very active uh, into their 60s, 70s, and don't want to give that up. So we are seeing a lot more people who are having painful joints that come in and want to have them replaced so they can get back on with their life. We're back with more on hip replacement surgery with Dr. Eric Ziegen at Valley Presbyterian Hospital, who tells us about his patient, Deborah Denton, and her experiences. Deborah's a, a nurse works here at the hospital. She's young and active. Um, she already had one hip replaced several years ago and did well with that. Uh, now her other hip was starting to wear out, uh, causing her pain, making it difficult for her to work a shift here at the hospital. Uh, she was having to take lots of anti-inflammatories, even had to start taking some pain medication to really get through the day. She came to see me, uh, I examined her, looked at her x-rays. She had basically bone-on-bone -bone arthritis in her hip, and I thought she was an excellent candidate for uh, an anterior hip replacement. I had a hip replaced. 
So I was once again experiencing with my normal hip pain that was very similar, and I had lost the range of motion. So I, and I was working full time. So I said, I need to get this checked out because the pain is not going away. I spent the last three weeks in, um, basically in bed, walking, getting up, taking a pain pill, getting as much as I could done, and then going back to bed because I don't like pain pills. So I didn't, I did what I could. And then I had surgery on Monday. Now I'm going home. <laughs> Not quite back to work, but back heading in that direction, back in the gym for sure. Dr. Zegan talks about the advancements and improvements in technology for hip replacement surgery. The hip replacement surgery has been around for 40 years and uh, the evolution of the prostheses has made dramatic improvements. Um, it used to be initially that the, the components were cemented into place. Now we don't even, it's very rare that we use cement. Uh, the prosthesis is uh, placed in, into the bone and to direct contact with the bones, so the bone grows into it. So that's one significant improvement. The articulating surface or the ball bearing surface has made significant improvements. We're now using um, materials that have a much longer uh, longevity uh, used to be that we would tell patients a hip replacement will last you 10 to 15 years. We now have data that shows these replacements are lasting 20 years, 25 years. So there's a been there's been a significant improvement in the materials that we're, we're using to design the implants. It's very rewarding. It's a very tangible result. You have a patient come in for their preoperative visit and they, they're hobbling down the hall, they're on, using a cane. Uh, the x-rays show the hip is totally deteriorated and uh, within a matter of days to a few weeks they're walking independent, pain-free. Um, their x-rays look great, uh, they're feeling well. Uh, it's a definite uh, rewarding experience on my part.